10 Examples of Nature Inspiring Technology by Biomimetic Designs 10 Whale Wind Turbines The humpback whale weighs an astonishing 36 tons, yet it is one of the most elegant swimmers, divers and jumpers in the sea. As first researched by Frank Fish, a biomechanic, these aerodynamic abilities are greatly attributed to the bumpy protrusions on the front of its fins, called tubercles. Similar to the processes of aircraft wings, whales use their fins at different steepening angles to increase their lift. Too much tilt though, and the opposite will occur and they'll stall, a loss of lift due to current turbulence and the formation of eddies in the water. By comparing bumpy blades to smooth-edged ones, Fish and colleagues found that stalling occurs at a much higher angle with tubercles, an increase by nearly 40%, in fact. They deduced this higher angle proficiency was beneficial for the whale in allowing it to maneuver in tight circles, hence how they circle and entrap their prey in a net of bubbles. Further testing by Fish also revealed that serrated edge wind turbines proved to be more efficient and quieter than the typical smooth blades. This led to the formation of Whale Power Tubercle Technology, a company developing a range of tubercle technology products, with a range of blade applications, including wind turbines, hydroelectric turbines, irrigation pumps, ventilation pumps. 9 Box Fish and the Bionic Car Despite the cumbersome appearance of the box fish, it has a low flow resistance and a drag coefficient of an astounding 0.06. In comparison, penguins swimming through water have a coefficient of 0.19. In 2005, inspired by the great structural strength and low mass of the box fish, Mercedes-Benz developed the Bionic car, which reported to reduce drag, have great rigidity, low weight and a significantly lower fuel consumption than traditional cars. Of course just because something seems like the perfect design in the natural world, doesn't necessarily mean it works out that way in industrial design. You might have noticed the distinct lack of bionic car-shaped vehicles on the road, which is probably because a 2015 study found that the shape of the box fish didn't reduce drag at all and actually made it more unstable. Great for a box fish with 50 million years of evolution to perfect the art of being a box fish, less good for a people carrier. 8 Kingfisher and the Shinkansen Japan is renowned for the incredible speed and efficiency of their trains. However, with speeds in excess of 300 km per hour, bullet trains presented a problem in creating huge sonic boom every time they emerged from a tunnel. An unfortunate result of changing air pressures, this source of noise pollution greatly disturbed local residents and placed pressure on engineers to address the problem. This they did, and drew inspiration from a rather unlikely source, the Kingfisher. Kingfishers are masters in traveling between the mediums of air water, with very little splash. Just like the Kingfisher, the Shinkansen bullet train is equipped with a long beak-shaped nose. This significantly reduces the amount of noise the train makes, but also uses 15% less electricity, and travels 10% faster than before. 7 Velcro George de Mistral was inspired to invent Velcro after noticing how easy it was for burrs to stick to his dog's hair. Upon studying them under a microscope, he noticed the simple design of tiny hooks at the end of the burrs' spines. These were able to catch anything with a loop, such as fur and fabric, and he went on to replicate this synthetically. His two-part Velcro fastening system uses a strip of loosely looping nylon opposite a strip of tiny hooks, and has since been prolific in its range of applications and popularity. 6 Birds and Flight Perhaps one of the most famous examples of biomimicry is evident in the history of human flight. Leonardo da Vinci is largely recognized as a key instigator in its development, as he made the first real studies on birds and human flight in the 1480s. His original design, called the Ornithopter, was never created, but was a principle in showing how man could potentially fly. 
several designers and engineers worked on this bird-inspired concept in the following years, for instance Otto Lilienthal completed more than 2,500 flights in a glider, but it was not until 1903 that the Wright brothers flew the first powered, heavier-than-air machine in a controlled and sustainable flight. This technology went on to define the aerial developments of 20th century and the technology seen in the air today. 5. Lotus-inspired hydrophobia The lotus effect, otherwise known as superhydrophobicity, is the effect seen on the leaves of the lotus flower, where water is not able to wet the surface and simply rolls off. This higher appearance is due to the nanostructure of the plane, where micro-protrusions coated in waxy hydrophobic materials repel the water. This is also a self-cleaning mechanism as dirt particles also stick to the water molecule. Copying this process, Snano developed Nanotel, a hydrophobic, water-repelling, lipophobic, fat-repelling, and oleophobic, oil-repelling, sealant that can be sprayed to substances to create their own superhydrophobicity. The applications of these are huge, and amazingly satisfying to watch, for water-collecting beetles. Probably one of our favorite creatures from David Attenborough's epic new series Planet Earth 2, the African Namib desert beetle collects water by condensing fog into water droplets in the bumps on its shell. As water repellent ridges line the bumps, they progressively direct a channel of water toward the beetle's head so it can drink. Inspired by this, researchers from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology MIT, replicated this structure with glass and plastic. This enabled them to collect minute amounts of water just like the beetle's back, but also provided them with the grounding for other applications aside from fog harvesting in a desert. For example, building cooling devices, or use in cleaning up toxic spills. 3. Biomimetic Architecture the East Gate Center in Harare, Zimbabwe, exemplifies biomimicry at an incredible scale. The green architecture is the country's largest office and shopping complex, and uses no conventional air conditioning or heating, yet it stays a regulated temperature all year. The architect Mick Pierce was inspired by termite mounds to create the building, as they demonstrate an ingenious structure that self-cools. This is due to their ventilation system, involving a process of opening and closing vents throughout the mound that regulate the convection currents of air. The East Gate Center uses a similar process, as it draws air in and warms, cools it with the building mass. This is dependent on which medium is hotter, the building or the air. The innovative building is quoted to consume 10% less energy than same-sized conventional buildings. 2. Bird-Safe Glass it is estimated that 100 million birds die every year as a result of flying into glass, and the reason is obvious, they simply do not recognize the transparent structure as a physical barrier. To address this problem, a company developed biomimetic Ornilox Bird Safe Glass, drawing inspiration from the UV reflective strands in spider webs, which birds see and therefore avoid. This is a clear mutual benefit for both species, and so Ornilox sought to replicate this with their crisscrossing UV glass. 1. A Shark Skin Coat By examining the biological processes of shark skin, NASA scientists were able to copy the microscopic patterns of dentricles to create a riblets film. Comparable to shark skin dentricles, this film reduces drag and deters microorganisms, such as algae, attaching to the surface. This was highly advantageous to marine vessels, such as the sailboat Stars and Stripes, which was coated with NASA riblets and won the 1987 America's Cup in the process. However, the environmental benefits of riblets are broad in reducing friction as it conserves energy and money, for example in fuel. This has led to its further development and utilization in coatings for ships' hulls, submarines, aircraft, and even swimwear for humans, 